so if you have something around your body, it's like an Indian headdress, and the difference of this, if it was electronic, could be like a netting, if it was conductive. If you had a netting that was conductive and it was coming out of your abdomen, you'd be like part robot Cyrax, because that's a special move. Other than Cyrax would be a move that Krona could, could do if she was hiding behind a giant hourglass, which she's always just seeming to do. A giant hourglass has an Indian headdress. Technically, if you have the angles right. If you get the angles right, anything can be the size of something. And I think that's how teleports work with Einstein, Rose, and Bridges. But the difference of a digital landscape where it could make not out from your chest, but uh, on other things like shadows would be on new Cybot, would conduct a um, star, uh, ninja stars that he throws out of it. He does this from conducting a cloud. A dark cloud and a shadow are like pretty much the same thing and that's what he uses instead of having it come out of his chest. It's the tar of the smell that you could smell when you're away from it and so that makes a vector Especially if you're in an enclosed area. Something equivalent to it being in two places at once because you can smell it from there. And you're sitting right here because of the dome area that's around. It was the same as a netting that Cyrax shoots out of his stomach. So how many grains of tobacco are equal to that ashtray is how many like threads and Cyrax and that will super conductive to it not stopping if it hits you. It's just like how many gallons of gas versus electricity if it costs the same to drive to one location is equivalent to a superconductive energy nature, equivalent to tobacco parts inside each of these cigarettes per gallon drops of liquid petro.
Goro has his arms snatched out of his body. It's like if you took a tarantula and took its legs off. And that's why Devora is equal to Cyrax, because they're both having stuff come out of their stomach that is like equal to this entire dome smelling like a tobacco. Our words when they move really fast is equal to a whole bunch of boards getting broken. So if it's a bridge and you're reading it, because it has lettering like this, CCS. But if it's moving really fast, you can't see the difference between the poles and the CS. So the middle point between them both looking equal to blurriness would equal a equal distortion that you couldn't tell which either of them were. Throw a snowball really fast next to something that is the same color and the lighting is dim. Would you be able to see the difference of the two? This one time I had to show a blind lady where to walk because she couldn't see. Something in your body that attacks a something in a body that attacks a placenta is something that your body just locates and gets confused. And then if it does fully engulf the placenta, if you're a female, what's that equal to if you're a male? I'll tell you what it's equal to having a neutron be depleted and so the atom is extinguished what does that look like it doesn't matter what kind of energy it is if it's an impact that does it it's equally as bad So I know that she does braille because they had it for her in the same room. And I thought the circle was the water wheel symbol of Grafton, but it wasn't. And it would have made sense for a blind person to have the braille from the town because that's who paid for it in Vermont. So one time in the Wisconsin Dells, I was putting this guy in front of this lady at a counter and she couldn't move because she was trying to watch the TV behind me, but I was putting this in front of her face. And so I stood there for like 10 minutes because I was just hanging out in the lobby and she was in the bar and I didn't want to see my...